I was wrong. This camera is much better than, uh, well... You know, I made a lot of videos, a lot of videos talking about why the Insta360 or action cams are better than smartphones. And well, I don't know if that's true. Probably one of the nastiest portal parties I've ever been in. There was poop on the toilet seat. Ugh. Whenever you're vlogging or making a piece of content by yourself, whenever you decide to go down that kind of filmmaking road, that immediately puts your needs in a specific category for size, weight, and just overall quality of cameras. I have no idea what that is. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you're trying to vlog or make any kind of daily content that shows your personal life, you can't really take a red camera. You're limited to really action cameras, mirrorless cameras, and your 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 phone or something somewhere in that that range look at this this was a full-on that was this building was this entire little concrete pallet and those guys have been uh have been taken took took everything down and that's my that's my watch i gotta run I think there's a good argument to say the best moments on camera are the ones that weren't intended to be captured. Meaning, when you have a film crew, a three-point lighting set up, a big camera, a lot of times it takes a lot more work to make those moments feel genuine versus just whipping out a phone on a moment that's special that you want to capture and remember later on. That's much more genuine, and I think that's much more relatable than, than the other. wrong this camera is much better than uh, well the Insta360 GO 3 for a couple of reasons and uh, let me let me explain why the Insta360 is amazing for its size and its magneticness and uh, well just being able to be a rock-solid camera that that can get one specific shot but on the other hand this thing is also amazing for its own reasons it can't magnetize the things it's bigger it's more fragile if I lose this then I lose way more than just a camera I lose pretty much everything that I have but on the other hand this camera is technically better this one shoots in 4k the answer 360 go 3 only shoots in 2k instead of having just one camera you have three separate cameras which can make your shot variety way more dynamic and on top of that this is pretty much always always with me unless I intentionally leave it at home that last point is probably the biggest advantage that my phone has over any camera that I have because if I ever want to shoot anything with something besides my phone I have to intentionally make that decision before I leave the house. If I want to shoot with this camera I have to bring it. If I want to shoot with the Insta360 I have to bring it. If I want to shoot with my phone I'll probably still already have it so I didn't I don't have to really think about it. But with all that I think that there is a place for each camera in my life. Like the three, there are really four four cameras that I use on a regular basis or at least a weekly basis with this vlog and pretty much every other production that I'm a part of. It's going to be my drone, my Insta360 GO 3, this camera, the A7S 3 and and my, my phone. And because of that, I use all of them for very specific things. They all do specific things incredibly well. This camera is the best quality that I can possibly get out of any of the cameras, both audio wise and 
and uh, and video video wise the drone well it, it can fly the insta360 go 3 is so small and inconspicuous that i can just have it and slap it on anything and not really have to worry about it breaking because it's way more robust than any of the other cameras and my phone is is always is always on me we've been traveling a lot lately and uh every time we travel i try to bring as little as i possibly can and those are the four cameras that always come with me and every time i try to convince myself not to bring them i uh, i always i always end up packing them because i need them for those those reasons that i listed before and just because you i have all four that doesn't mean you need those by any stretch of the imagination, any one of those, well maybe not the drone, but any of the other three will do everything that you need it to. It's just these are the small little nuances that I have the luxury of, of choosing from. You know, I, I don't know what this is for, and I don't know how long this has been been here, but that's that's amazing. been setting this whole thing up for a couple of days now that's like a massive stage and then they also have they have like things for LED walls and they even have two separate sections for speed let me just show you you see that right there that's for one speaker set and then way down there where the stage is is for another speaker set so basically they're gonna have basically they're gonna have two separate sections of speakers for uh, or for people to listen to whatever's going on. I googled it and I can't figure out what's going on, but uh, there's gonna be a lot of people here. See this, this is normally grass, and they have all these things laid down. That's for, uh, they, they have, this entire park is lined with that over, over there. So what are my final thoughts on the whole iPhone camera being better? Honestly, I think it just depends on uh, whatever your, your application is. If you want to carry just your phone, this will do great. If you want to carry something like this, uh, which I do a lot, then uh, then that'll obviously be better. The most important thing is consistency and being able to carry something pretty much all the time. Whatever that is, is, is your best bet. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. Can you please do a video, a vlog breakdown? Yeah, I, I really want to. Uh, I've said this before, but I just, I have to, uh, I have to figure out the best way to, to go about doing that. Cause I, I want it to be, I want it to be good and entertaining, but I also want it to be, be thorough. I'm working on it. The king of consistency, keep it up. Thanks, I appreciate that. I uh, honestly, I feel like the, the trick with, with daily vlogging or, or most things, at least for me, is just getting into a routine. Once I'm in a routine, then it's really easy to just keep cranking them out and keep going. Enjoy the vlog, I found out. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you heard, uh, I don't know if you heard on my run, but there was some pretty bad wind noise, and that's just because there's no windscreen or anything on, on the iPhones. Honestly, a great product idea would be something to go over the, the speakers of an iPhone, much like a Wensock or a Dead Cat, uh, just for the iPhone. I've done a couple of music projects. That's a, that's a genius idea. I actually just switched from my Apple Watch to a Garmin, uh, mostly just because the battery life's a lot better and for running, just a bunch of other reasons. Uh, but if I did still have an Apple Watch, it would be a great monitoring solution. I wish I would have known that when I had one. Okay, uh, that's that's all the, the questions or comments that I'm answering today. Uh, Okay, I'll see you guys, see you tomorrow. What's going on here? You got walker and dryer cable going into the sidewalk. You know, I can't think of any possible solution why you would what the hell is that?